So they'll be calling you a radical, so so much going on. I wanted to give you an update on San Onofre. As San Onofre goes, the shutdown of San Onofre is historic. As it goes, the rest of these godforsaken pieces of shit will go. We got good news. Both lawsuits have been thrown out. Now, you know public watchdogs filed a lawsuit in the 9th District. As I protest there all the time, I'm, that's... And think about the odds. The same judge that drew that case drew, that's the USS Reagan versus GE case. So you know about the plunge protection team. So this is the fraud of the United States economy. Look at the participation rate, the cash economy. The United States government is buying GE stock daily, pounding with debt. 23 unreeling dead as Volcker dies this week. So back to San Onofre. You know, and a lot of people down there who supported this lawsuit are fucking in La Laville. You know, they roll into town late. Look, both suits have been tossed. This delay on the canister set us back a whole year. Get this fucking shit in these canisters. And now, I mean, if you want to be an activist in, on this whole thing on San Onofre, which is that important. That important. I've dedicated so much of my life to it. The action needs to go forward now to get, once it's in those canisters, that's a big move. It's a million times safer in those canisters than it ever is in those spent fuel pools, which have been there forever. Let's get a fucking move to Texas. You know, I'm working with Mike, you know, the new congressman elect. I love that guy. He's a genius. He's filed a bill to give Senate Offrey first priority. Rick Peck Terry wants it in Texas. Send it to Texas. I mean, we got to get it off there. We've got to get it out of there. But the first step, which has been delayed, this is a big win for us. I'm, I mean, very big win. I mean, the San Onofre shutdown is so historic, I don't think anybody realizes, because it was considered impossible. What we've done is impossible. And to all the workers that are working there, whoa, you know, thank you for risking your lives. That place is hot. You know, the generators here, which Huntsman, who's going to run for governor, you don't you think he'd know that? <laughs> he didn't know that. He knows it now. I've got his email. Me and him been cool by I'm getting him up to speed. So when they decommission and pull it up, they want to bring it here to the energy solution dump site like they brought generator. It's not low level. It's too hot. And I'm going to fight it. When they tear it down, I, we don't want it here because they had an accident in the third. They don't want to talk about that. Oh, it's just a steam malfunction. Just a, Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, backed up into the core. They were cheating. <laughs> wouldn't be for me, you wouldn't even know that. They had no intention to shut down. They don't want to go to jail. So a big, it's a win. It's a big win. You know, so it's funny how they get all this fucking waste. You waste all this fucking money on these bullshit, you know. You know. <sighs> wouldn't you think you'd fund a guy like Kevin Blanche? And I'm a fool to be doing all your fucking San Diego, fucking Orange County, fucking dirty work. I really am a fool, but somebody's got to fucking do it. Kevin Blanche, the activist that fucking wins. Big win for us. Thanks, Janice. And the USS Reagan case is not over. I can tell you that right now. Not over. Stay in tuning.